Have you ever thought about what happens when you stop chasing a woman? If not, today we're going to take a deep dive into that topic. That question has probably crossed many of your minds, not just those in these waters. We've been through this before, but today we're going to look at the interesting patterns of do not say what happens when you decide to step back and stop talking. How can a man take advantage of this situation to win a woman back? Dignity and confidence. In this video, we'll show you how most people respond. Women may worry about how stopping the chase will affect their mood and behavior. We will apply Stoicism, a timeless way of thinking, in a unique way. Stoicism teaches us about how to deal with these kinds of things. Being strong, having mental control, and being able to take a step back and look at our lives by taking a bigger picture of people's lives and following these rules, you can learn how to stay calm and confident in uncertain situations. Have you ever experienced silence from someone you care about? Join us as we dissect these personal issues and experiences and share ways to not only get through them, but also thrive and dig deeper. Stoic philosophy can help you feel positive about your own self-worth. If this talk interests you or hits home right now, remember to like this video and subscribe to our station. For more thought-provoking content, click the bell icon to ensure you don't miss anything. Update now. Let's get going. Number 1. The first shock and surprise or confusion. One of the first things you'll notice when you stop talking to a woman is a sense of surprise or confusion. For her, this is just normal, everyday conversation that used to be the same. Or even often has stopped all of a sudden, she might start to wonder what happened, why have you been quiet, and why you're questioning her acts or even her place in your life. It's a time of confusion for her, and it could lead to stoicism helping manage many emotions from interest to anger. Can offer clarity. One of the most important lessons of Stoicism is to only focus on what we can change about our own ideas, actions and reactions you see her. You shouldn't or can't try to fix misunderstandings or shocks. You can't change how she feels or what she thinks when you stop talking to her. According to Stoic ideas, it is pointless to spend energy trying to control someone else's feelings. Instead, you should keep your attention on the things you can control. Maintaining composure, maintaining mental equilibrium and reflecting on your actions are crucial. Let's say you've been the one to start conversations, send texts or make calls. Over time, you may notice that the balance of power feels off in your plans. You're after her or giving her more than she's giving you, so you choose to. If you pull back and stop starting at that point, she mightn't understand why. Isn't he talking to me anymore? This is where the confusion comes in, but I don't rush to. Rather than attempting to clarify the situation or alleviate her discomfort, you opt for silence. That's a strong moment for both of you. Silence can be one of your best qualities on purpose. By taking a step back, you can find space for you to get your bearings and for her to think about how she feels. Center Stoicism teaches us that silence is not a waste of time, but a chance to learn. You can look at your own feelings during the pause for reflection and clarity. Letting go of the need to chase or look for approval helps you stand strong, not because you don't care, but rather because you know you can't control how she reacts. When a guy stops chasing her, she often has no one to share her thoughts and feelings with. Speaking with a woman allows her to reflect on the dynamics of the relationship and determine whether she truly values the relationship. Given the connection, your silence could prompt her to reconsider her role and actions. The most important thing is that you're giving yourself time to consider whether this pursuit fits with your goals. Think about your own ideals and self-respect as the Stoics did. Things outside of your control, like whether or not someone pays attention to you, do not decide your inner peace. You're still in charge of your feelings. 
Whether or not someone else sees or responds the way you hope, the beauty of this method gives you the freedom to be yourself by not going after. By not acting on impulse, you show that you respect yourself and your feelings. Being independent demonstrates that your peace of mind is independent. Her response. The way you respond to this strengthens your position. You control your own emotions and are unaffected by external circumstances. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding you, we've discussed how initial shock and misunderstanding can occur. Let's think about the more basic Stoic principle at work for a moment. Realizing that you are the only person you can truly control is crucial. Part of the process is shifting your attention from outside approval to inner peace. Keep your own sense of calm, which is why this method is so effective. You're not just changing how you feel right now, you're changing the whole dynamic of your interactions. If this hits home for you, leave a comment with your thoughts. To keep the conversation going, just type, I choose inner peace below. Please let me know your thoughts before we move on. Second, think about the connection when you don't talk to each other. If you chase a woman, she might be confused or shocked, because that's how people usually act. When a known dynamic changes all of a sudden in her mind, she may start to replay events. We are conducting talks and encounters to try and figure out what caused this shift. During this time, she thinks about what went wrong and what role she played in the situation, and thinking about what she might have done to make them stay quiet. But here's the key from a calm point of view. While she thinks about the relationship, now is a great time for you to think about what it's not about what she's thinking or how she's acting, but about yourself. Stoicism tells us that we should only focus on the things we can control, such as our thoughts. Take a step back and reflect on your reactions and actions. From your point of view, did you stay true to your ideals during the time you were together? Did you act in a real way? Or were you playing because you needed to chase something? A Stoic would tell you that your worth doesn't come from trying to please or win her approval. It's not about how much someone else loves you, but about how committed you are to life. Based on your values, if you were always trying to get her attention or giving up what you need, now is a good time to ask yourself why. Because you didn't want to be alone, or because you thought her approval was needed. Imagine you were texting her about how much you value yourself. I am always making plans and looking for ways to improve. When you take a step back and cease this behaviour, she will likely pay attention to you. Notice her, but don't wait for her response or worry about whether she'll come back. Instead, use this time to look. Did you lose yourself in the quest for her attention? Did you cross your own lines or compromise your values? Just to keep the link going, if so, this is a chance to reflect on yourself seriously, which means recognizing where you might have lost touch with your real selves. Determine how you can grow from the experience. After some time, you might learn that you were too focused on getting her approval and not. Maybe you didn't protect your self-respect or realized you were giving up too much of yourself. The only reason you're still together is to keep the relationship going it's not about self-blame, it's about making yourself better and more resilient right now. Instead of worrying about what she's thinking or how she's feeling, focus on the best version of yourself. Rather than reacting, focus on developing yourself internally. This is where TR power lies, the ability to get better every time you fail and learn from it. A woman might think about the connection and maybe even change her mind about how she feels or what she did, but that's not your business. Decide how to handle this situation. That's something you can change. Will you use silence to learn and grow? Will you use silence to connect with yourself? A Stoic would take action. They wouldn't just sit around and do nothing. 
Instead of waiting for a text or wishing for peace, take advantage of the chance to grow as people and learn more about what they really want inside. When you stop chasing happiness in your life and relationships, you stop finding it. When someone else holds your power, you take it back. That's what Stoicism is all about. It teaches us to find happiness and peace not in the approval of others, but in our own selves. Steady dedication to living by our values. So while she thinks about what your focus should be on how you can apply what you've learned. Now that you know those lessons, this is the way to real inner peace. She should respect herself, regardless of whether she returns or not. Number three. Crossing lines. This can happen in a number of ways, such as when she sends a friendly text. She might attempt to capture your attention unexpectedly or by sharing something on social media that she knows will resonate. Make things happen to see how you react or if you'll just go with the flow. Whereas you were always after her, this behavior isn't always a sign. This is usually to see where you stand or if she likes you still has the power to get your attention at this point. A lot of guys make the mistake. Instead of acting out, they suddenly feel scared that they will lose her. I truly fear that she's moving on, or that their silence has hurt her. Fear prompts them to act swiftly. They respond to her message immediately. If they succumb to the lure she presents, they will pursue her once more. But here's the thing. When you do this, you're not acting from a place of strength. You're acting from a place of fear. This is where Stoicism comes in handy. It is important for a Stoic man to know where his power comes from. He remains steadfast in his convictions and remains unaffected by the caprices of others. Other women. If a woman tries your limits after you've stopped chasing her, she's probably trying to see if she can still get your attention. She can still change how you act, but a strong man doesn't give in. He knows that the only things he can manage are his own actions, feelings and thoughts. What she does, what she thinks and whether she stays or leaves are all completely subjective, not under his control, and that's fine. For example, a woman. After days of silence, she might send you a message indicating that you've lost interest in her. This is to see if you'll jump back into the conversation right away rather than acting quickly. A calm man stops and thinks about whether he is excited or afraid of losing her. Whether your answer matches his values and goals, you may respond. However, your answer is calm, steady and not pushed by a desire to win her over or impress you. You know answering now won't help, so don't. Help you in any way whether your response or lack of reactions come from a strong place inside, not from feelings. It's easy to make a mistake here because we're trained to believe that chasing her attention will make her like us more. You want to win her over, but if you keep chasing her, you often lose your way. A calm man has a strong sense of self-worth and power, so he doesn't need to chase after things. He wants validation or acceptance from no one not even a woman who likes him for who he is. It doesn't depend on her love or attention. It comes from within you when you stand strong and set clear limits for yourself. Not only are you conveying a powerful message to her, but more importantly, tell yourself your worth isn't based on her approval. Think of it this way. By not responding to every test or hint, you show that you are emotionally stable and confident, just like all women are. They are drawn to power, but not the kind that comes from being able to control other people. Stoics know that life will always have problems, and they try to keep their cool. This ensures that the goal is not to avoid people or situations. These tests require handling with calmness and wisdom. When a woman tries to push your boundaries, she's essentially gauging your level of groundedness by observing your response. Emotionally, she will sense your lack of confidence in yourself and your desire for her approval, but if you maintain your composure, by maintaining your composure and adhering to your convictions, 
you demonstrate to her your authority. To be honest with yourself, this doesn't mean playing games or taking advantage of the circumstances. You're not avoiding her to make her like you, because you're honest and sure of who you are. If they chase you, you're just putting your own safety first. Respecting himself in the end, the calm man understands where real power originates. When a woman comes near him, he doesn't have to chase her, react, or show anything to anyone. When someone tries your limits, use it as a chance to show how strong you are. Instead of teasing or trying to change things, maintain your firmness. This shows that you don't need her support or validation to feel whole. You are whole by yourself, and that's the kind of strength that lasts. As we come to the end of this thought, take a moment to think about how you've handled similar scenarios in the past. In your own life, have you ever felt the need to seek approval, or have you been able to remember that growth comes from awareness if you want to stick to your ideals? Being honest about past failures is part of the journey. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any thoughts on this, please feel free to leave a message and tell me about it. If this hits home for you, just type, I control my actions, not hers. Let's keep talking as we move on to the next one. Fourth insight. Are you looking for closure? Have you ever noticed how when, when you stop talking to a woman, things change quickly? At first she seemed she wasn't interested, and now she's looking for solutions, asking questions, and this is called seeking closure. And it's one of the most people stop talking to someone who used to interest them. But do you? You really owe her that conclusion. Let's look at the text message exchange you were having. Despite a few dates, the relationship didn't seem to be progressing. Maybe her energy wasn't either matched yours, or you thought something wasn't right instead of chasing you. After a few days of not talking, to you, she contacts you and asks why. What happened when you stopped texting me? This is when many people feel the people feel like they have to explain themselves, but this is where having a stoic attitude helps. You don't have to give anyone an answer that makes you feel bad. Consider that if you give her peace of mind, you'll control hers. Closure means going back to a setting that was only going to drain your energy in the first place. We control our lives, so maybe it's not worth it, according to Stoicism. Rather than other people's standards, a woman might want closure. You alone have the authority to determine how much of your time, feelings and thoughts Marcus can access. Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not over outside events. Know this, this is where you'll find strength. The outside event is her trying to get close. There is closure, but the power is in how you react. Do you start a, do you want to engage in a conversation that could rekindle old hurts or reintroduce you to a situation you thought you had moved past? Let silence mark the conclusion. It's normal to want to end things. That being said, keep in mind that closure doesn't always mean conversation. Sometimes the toughest thing you can do is keep your cool. Remain silent, refrain from speaking, and allow the open questions to guide the conversation. This doesn't mean being cold or uninterested. Rather, it means it's crucial to prioritize your health by resisting the temptations of your mind. Take charge of your peace. Let that be your fifth emotional guide. Responses Picture this. You've ceased pursuing her and stopped initiating the relationship. When you talk, text, or call her, you're not giving her the time she needs. Once had from you, and all of a sudden, you might notice an emotional change. She reacts with anger, sadness, or even relief at times. Being human means having emotional responses, but as someone who embraces these responses, stoicism. Her feelings shouldn't affect your actions or feelings. For peace of mind, let's delve deeper into how Stoic knowledge can assist you in navigating this situation. The Stoics teach us that even strong feelings only last for a short time. 
The weather is sometimes wild and sometimes calm, but her anger, sadness, or if she feels relieved, you don't have to respond right away. It's her own reaction to a change in the situation. As Marcus Arius said, you control your mind, not what happens in the outside world. If she gets angry when you tell her this, you will find strength in it. When you stop talking to her, she might send you frustrated texts or use her as a way to vent. Friends, in times such as these, it's effortless to succumb to the chaos. You may need to defend or explain yourself. As you talk to Ro, stay cool and grounded. You know that her anger is hers to own. Epictetus said, the process is not yours to fix. You don't have to take on her mental load. How you handle your situation matters more than what happens to you. She might respond to your sad texts by expressing how much she misses you. Pay attention to it. You might feel tempted to reach out and comfort her, but remember to remain strong. It demonstrates the significance of inner strength and emotional control. Her sadness is real, but she needs to figure out her own path. You don't need to try to fix it or fill the hole she's feeling. Then there's the allow her to experience that emotion and navigate through it without succumbing to it yourself. It's possible that she's feeling better. She may have been pulling away from you anyway. The choice to stop chasing her is in line with what she wanted. This can be, it may have been shocking or even hurtful, but stoicism offers another way to look at things. This is a useful insight. You can't control how she reacts, but you can control how you interpret it. If her relief means she's happier without you around, then you should react. That's a clear sign of how things stand, and you should use it as permission to move on with your life. Control and knowing oneself are central to Stoicism. What you can control, and what you can't, is how she acts when you stop. Talking to her about how you feel doesn't change how she feels. How do you handle the case? Do you allow her feelings to influence your decision-making? Is your choice changeable, or do you stick to it because you know it will protect your peace of mind? Is your top concern, so the next time you stop chasing her and she gets angry, remember the Stoic lesson. Moods, whether they are anger, sadness or joy, your inner peace can last but the chaos can't. Keep your mind on what you can control. Don't cling to things you can't alter, and please maintain your composure. It's important to step back and think about these emotional reactions. Think about how often we let other people's feelings affect our own. This is an, when you cease to follow, stoicism can provide you with immense strength in a crucial area. And her mood changes. It's not about how she feels, it's about how you deal with it. That's why I want you to take a moment before we move on to the next subject. Think about your own actions and how you dealt with different situations. Have you maintained your composure or succumbed to these emotional shifts in the past? Into the emotional storm, leave a message with your thoughts and ideas. Matter, and by talking about it, you not only understand it better, but also join a group of people who share your interests on this journey. As you continue to grow, let's continue to explore this together. The sixth step is to determine your worth. Now let's get to something strong. She starts to do that when you stop talking to her or chasing her. Guys frequently become mired in their own thoughts when considering their own worth. It made them wonder if she was still interested and if she saw my value, what she thinks about me. Now that I've taken a step back, but this is where many guys go wrong. They start to care about what she thinks. Tell people how to feel about themselves, but your worth is not based on others' opinions. The opinion of anyone else is not hers. And this is exactly where the stoic thought can teach us something very important. It emphasizes that your worth and value originate from within you. It's not about how she feels. It's about who you are, what you do, and how well you follow your values. 
It's about who you are, not how she acts, what she thinks, or if she comes running back, are with or without her approval. Think about it this way. When you stop chasing her, she changes her mind and starts to think about the relationship about you and starts to think about what part you've played in. Even though you didn't, she may think about how stable you made her life. Don't let outside events control you, but you need to while she's doing this. Instead of allowing her to define your self-worth, take a stand for yourself. You rely on external validation, such as her texts or her praises. The farther you stray from the real inner power that Stoicism teaches, the less I care about you. We should ignore these external viewpoints and concentrate on what's inside. We are truly in charge of what we do and how we think. Let's say you stopped talking to her and now there's quiet. She's probably thinking what you're thinking. Your identity and contributions may be on her mind. How steady you were and how cool and collected you always looked, even when things got tough. She may now understand that you should never let small things bother you, and that showed a certain strength. Stands out, but you're not sitting there while she's thinking about it. You're focusing on yourself rather than worrying about what she'll do next. Since your real motivation is meeting your own standards, you're taking this time to assess your performance. Worth comes from, and here's the catch. When you stop chasing, it gives her room to... I believe she may begin to miss you due to your approach to problem-solving. With grace or the way you never let your feelings get the best of you and... In, at that moment, she's glancing back at you to determine whether she still wants to pursue you. Whether you return or not doesn't alter your value. She cannot determine your worth. What Stoicism teaches us in times like these is what makes it so strong. You should stay true to yourself and not allow the opinions of others to alter who you are. Consider the situation you backed out of, and now she's gone. You may think she's judging you, or know you're not this kind of person. The ups and downs of every day will have a big effect on this guy. That's a good situation, because you have confidence in your beliefs and your your sense of self-worth makes you feel good even if other people don't agree with you. That's why stopping your pursuit of her doesn't mean the end of everything. It's a powerful moment when you demonstrate your confidence in your identity. You don't need other people to tell you how important you are. It's already evident that your behavior affects both yourself and others. This is what Stoicism teaches, how true you are to your beliefs. Being independent and knowing you only need your approval are important to us. The next time you find yourself in that situation, regardless of whether she's present or not, anyone else remember this? Your worth isn't based on whether she likes you or not. She texts you back to let you know if she thinks you're important or interested. Again, it's important to know what you're worth and live by it every day. If you act in that way, Grounding is more important than whether she returns. Even more profoundly, consider your character and your commitment to upholding your values as the Stoics did. Number 7. Reaching out again. Picture this. You've stopped. She won't get any more late-night texts, plans to meet up or calls. After some time, she reaches out. This could be because she's interested. She might miss being the focus of attention, or she might be wondering why you've suddenly distanced yourself. But here's the catch. What do you do when she tries to touch you again? Do you run back? Are you excited to pick up where you left off, or do you take a moment to think? This is where Stoicism enters the picture. It instructs us to refrain from acting. When she reaches out, act rationally, not emotionally. Don't let your thoughts at the moment take over. You might be excited, or we might even hope that things will get better, but stoicism helps us remember something very important. Avoid hastily reacting. It is your responsibility, not hers. 
Instead of responding immediately or letting her message confuse you, take a deep breath and consider what is truly important. Driving her message, and more importantly, how you want to answer. A man who stays calm. Being honest doesn't mean trying to win her approval or reclaim something. Looking for clarity? For example, let's say you want clarity in your own deeds and intentions. You get a text from her that says, Hey, it's been a while. How are you? This could have been a chance to restore your old self. Start the talks you've been missing, this time with stoic ideals. I'm guiding you to reply calmly and without any anger, just as I am. Thank you very much, and I hope everything is well with you. Maintain composure by resisting the urge to give in to your emotions or hope. By rekindling an old relationship, you maintain your dignity and self-respect. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the things we can control. You can't change how we feel, think or do. That's why she's reaching out. Out or what she wants to get out of the talk. But you can decide how you answer. And your answer should always show how strong you are inside, not any. The attachment or need for her approval persists even after you stop pursuing it. Women often notice when attention is diverted from them, and many will reach out. Out to see if they still have the same effect on you, but when you put them, you are no longer engaging in the game of stoic wisdom. You're reacting from a, it stems from a sense of self-worth and mental balance, not a need for outside approval. The next time she reaches out, remember to act with reason, not emotion. Keep your calm and in charge. You don't want her to feel that way. When you're happy, you know you have everything you need inside you. That's power. Being stoic in relationships means you don't allow fleeting emotions to push you. By instincts, you stay grounded, calm, and in charge of how you act at all times. Respond number eight. Now picture this. You've stopped. She stopped chasing after I texted her, and at first there's a feeling of doubt. You might be surprised by what's about to happen. Will she notice? Will she care? But here it is. No matter what she does next, that's not where the real change begins. With you, and this is where toughness comes in when you stop chasing. You're giving yourself a chance to get your feelings back under control. You're no longer motivated by the need to be liked or cared for. You should focus on something much more important, your emotional health, your self-respect, and your beliefs. Strength, and trust me, this is the confidence that comes from inside. Stoicism demonstrates that happiness is not derived from external factors such as her answer, her attention, or her approval, but from inside ourselves. Now that you're calm, let's discuss what might happen if you wait. If she knows that your absence means something, she may reach out. She might start to wonder why you've pulled back and question things, won't she? Women are naturally observant, and they might even try to get your attention again. When you stop giving them the same amount of energy, it makes them curious. But here's the important thing. What matters is that you're not doing anything. You're less concerned about whether she's responding to your texts or expressing interest because you don't have to worry about the outcome. You're not just moving on from her, you're going forward. Stoicism tells us to let go of the need for approval from other people. We should focus on our own actions and emotions, not on those of others. This is how we think and behave. If you stop chasing, you're not giving. You're giving up on her giving up the need to control what will happen and accepting what will happen. The idea that you'll be okay regardless of whether she contacts you or not comes to mind. Value doesn't depend on her response. Instead, let's examine an example you provided. Once you realize that you've been the one maintaining the conversation, you make the decision to cease texting her. Days go by and, at initially, the silence leaves you wondering if she has heard you. But then you begin to. Notice something else. You feel lighter, and you don't check your you're not, 
anxiously waiting for an answer on the phone, and you're not thinking too much, your every move. Instead, you're more interested in your own life and goals. She might text you back in the end, or she might not. Either way, you're not. Despite your fear, you discovered tranquility in the unfamiliar, and that's the essence of Stoicism. By letting go of attachment, you've changed the attention from her to yourself. You're letting go of the past and future to live now. You're living according to your needs for things to go a certain way. That's where real self-respect and confidence come from at the end. The important thing is connecting, not whether you do it today. You've learned something much more valuable. How to be emotionally strong. True dignity arises from living your life in accordance with your ideals, not from trying to get someone else's acceptance. As we come to a close for today, let's think about a question that many people are unaware of the true consequences of ending a conversation. Woman, the responses can be complicated and different, but what really counts is not so. It's not so much about the response itself, but rather how you choose to handle it. Incorporate stoic principles into your problem-solving process through practice. You can use mental control, deep self-reflection, and reaffirm your own worth. I can handle these tough conversations with grace and respect. It's important to remember that real security doesn't mean controlling other people. Self-mastery involves taking responsibility for your own emotions and actions. This is the essence of Stoicism and is essential for maintaining your dignity. Have respect for everyone in your life if you learned something from today's video. Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to receive more content similar to this. Your participation helps. Help us grow and continue to provide you with good advice and engaging discussions. Thanks for watching. Stay strong and follow the calm path. Until next time, building up your inner strength will ultimately lead to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Remember, true security comes from within and is not dependent on external factors. Keep practicing self-mastery and embodying the principles of Stoicism to cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience.